I think the performers as well as the audiences have felt like hearing these characters speak in Yiddish is a, a revelation because these we're hearing them speak in their own language um, instead of somebody's idea of what they would say translated into English. Uh, and it's not only the character's own language, it's the language that they were first written in by in, in the source material by Sholem Alechem. Um, so the, the rhythms seem to work so well in Yiddish uh, that the play flows in, in a way and, and the characters seem more authentic um, speaking in Yiddish than not that they didn't seem authentic in English, but there's just something about um, having them having these conversations in Yiddish uh, that, that makes them just that much more real. Uh, that together with having them speak or listen to the Russian character speaking in Russian, which also happens in the show. And sometimes the, the crossing of languages between the Russians and the Jews, where the Russians are speaking Yiddish to the Jews and the Jews are throwing Russian into their discussions with the Russians, you know, sometimes bad Russian, you know, it's, you know, it's, um, it's very interesting to, to have these, this language barrier, uh, which is attempted to be crossed by these two cultures, which is also just like a, a, re a really cool, uh, cool revelation. There's also some Yiddish uh, phrases or, um, you know, liberties that were taken by uh, Shraga Friedman, who did the original Yiddish translation, um, that I think he pulled from the source material, which had been, you know, bypassed by the, you know, the, the writers of, of Philip Roof in English. So he was able to go back to some of the Shalom Aleichem text and put it back in, which also gives it, you know, more of an authentic flavor.